How's it going, everybody? Welcome back. So today, I just wanted to quickly address this little question, which is, um, yeah, you guys have been asking, how much does web hosting cost generally? Now, every hosting provider out there has its own extensive list of pricing plans, which may seem a little overwhelming at first. Uh, but I know that there are many variables at play when it comes to the cost of web hosting. So, you know, I'm here to help you out, you know, which type of web hosting that you'll need, how much this type of web hosting will cost and the cheapest provider out there um, that can give you, first of all, really good value hosting it right here. I'll be using hosting as an example to showcase everything. Uh, because it offers really good value packages. And if you're willing to scale up later, you do have more expensive deals that will actually give you more resources if you would like to scale up. Uh, but to start, actually, you can start off very cheap using the shared web hosting plan. And this is beginner level web hosting. Shared hosting means that you'll be sharing your web server with other websites. And if you have a super low traffic website with a static page or a small blog, then this is the best option. Shared hosting is often the cheapest form of web hosting, but also the least robust as your website is one of the many sites sharing the resources of a single server. And as you can tell, it is definitely the cheapest one and you can definitely scale up to get better resources. Now, the second type of hosting is actually VPS hosting. Let's go ahead and check that out. And virtual private server hosting or VPS hosting is the next step up from shared hosting. And the big difference is that uh, you're mostly running your own server. Though in reality, your website is still one of the several websites sharing a single server, but there are far fewer websites sharing resources than with shared hosting, meaning your site's performance should be better. Why is site performance so important? Well, with better website performance, you can manage higher traffic and the overall security of your website is better, which is important if you're planning to sell online. I recommend the most popular VPS plan with Hostinger if you're going to go uh, with VPS, but you can definitely scale all the way up to VPS plan number eight if you're looking for very premium resources. Now, another type of web hosting is cloud hosting. Now, you've probably heard of the cloud, which is a vague term meant to describe online services like Dropbox or OneDrive. What it actually means is a cluster of servers working together so that a web service never goes down or goes down very infrequently. Cloud hosting then is a group of servers working together to keep your website up and running. If one server goes down, another picks up the slack and so on. As you might imagine, cloud hosting doesn't come cheap. But if you can't afford even a few hours of downtime, it might be the best option for you. And as you can tell, the prices go significantly all the way up because cloud hosting is definitely that expensive, but it's really worth it, especially if you're running an online store and you can't afford to have your uh, site to go down even a little bit. Now you have WordPress hosting, which is also another type uh, of web hosting optimized for WordPress hosting. Before we start, let's be clear about one thing. You can run a WordPress site on pretty much any web hosting service. Managed WordPress hosting is not about running a WordPress site per se. It's about getting a service that's tuned to meet the needs of WordPress sites. And this includes features like 24 seven support and automated backups or other items you may not get with regular shared hosting. So WordPress hosting is definitely something that's worth looking into. Uh, and you can go with the starter or business WordPress if you don't want to go with the single shared one. Now, why did I recommend Hostinger? It's because it offers a lot of plans and depending on your budget, you can kind of scale up and pay a whole lot for a lot of resources or stick with something that's budget friendly if you're just starting out. So it's a great start. And of course, you know, you get a really good discount, especially with the shared web hosting. Let's say you want to get this offer right here. Uh, I'll go ahead and click it and you'll notice that the price will go down. I'll go down right here and we do have a coupon code. It'll be applied automatically if you click the link in the description down below. Uh, but actually site starters, excuse me. So if we click site starters, you'll notice the price going down. Uh, so if you guys are interested in this discount, 
it will be applied automatically if you click the link in the description down below and if you'd like to learn more about hosting or you'll find a full review down below as well and you do get a 30-day money back guarantee by the way in case you're not satisfied besides that comment below if you have any questions i'll be happy to answer all of them like and subscribe if you'd like to support the channel and stay up to date with everything web hosting thank you guys very much for watching and i'll see you in the next one have a wonderful day